why don't we have Tony Tomasi come up and talk to us about a couple of the demos that his team has put together. Hey, Tony. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Um, I've got three things I want to show you this morning. Um, I want to give you a taste of uh, pushing tessellation about as far as we can push it today on the current generation hardware, uh, and then move into some volumetric simulations that are really artful blends of computation and graphics. Um, so the first demo, if we can go ahead and bring that up, we call this Endless City. Now, what this demo, oh, and by the way, if you can uh, put your glasses on, this demo is uh, really stunning in, in 3D. So what this demo um, demonstrates is a procedurally generated city. We use an L system with a couple of dozen base primitives. Um, and then we use tessellation to generate an immense amount of geometric detail. Um, on the order of about 1.3 billion polygons per second are what's being rendered here, which is really only possible with the parallel tessellation architecture that Fermi has brought to us. Um, in addition to the geometric complexity, there's a lot of lighting and rendering complexity here, actually over 1,000 light sources um, and whatnot. The, uh, the richness that you see here is, is done entirely, again, through procedural tessellation. The, the base uh, implementation of this is really uh, quite simple. So we're going to fly up here to um, some statues on the top of one of these buildings. And these are, um, well, first, they're, they're quite stunning out-of-screen stereo um, uh, statues. But these are some birds that are, that are modeled uh, with really fine detail on the wings and whatnot. But the amazing thing is if we toggle off tessellation, we can see that there's only a few polygons representing the base mesh. Um, and it's, in fact, with very high-resolution displacement maps that we're generating about a 500-fold increase in geometric complexity. The kind of data that we're generating here is roughly on the order of 80 gigabytes per second per frame, or 80 gigabytes per second, um, which should be on the order of an order of magnitude more than PCI Express. So we really have to use the processing power of the GPU to get this level of geometric fidelity. So as we fly through the city and we, we enjoy some more of the, the scenic vistas here, uh, one of the other things to think about is that the geometry that we're seeing here is roughly an order of magnitude more complex than a state-of-the-art video game is today. And really, tessellation is going to usher in this new level of geometric fidelity. So as we fly up to the statue here on the side of the building, again, a huge amount of detail in the statue. And again, if we look at the base mesh the, you know, without tessellation, there's, again, only a couple dozen polygons right, used to generate the data, which creates this, this very detailed statue on the side of the building. This is the kind of capability that the Fermi architecture brings to us, and this is the kind of power that tessellation, using all of those free flops that Jensen mentioned, to do really interesting programmable things. I can almost touch it. Yeah, it's, We it's, have the best view of all. It's pretty stunning. 